For this video I will show you all the memory locations. There are two rewards finding all the memories. The first one is that you get an achievement or a trophy called I remember. The second reward is that B12 will give you a new backpack, which you will see at the end of this video. I will however not show you the dialogue because I want you to experience this for yourself. With that said, let's start with the first memory. You cannot miss this one since it's part of the story, and you'll find it at the end of chapter 3. On chapter 4, the slums, there are in total 7 memories. Use the garden as a reference and follow my route. At the top of the building you should find the second memory. Continue towards the third memory from the second memory. We need to collect three energy cans since we need to purchase the third memory. I will show you the location of the three vending machines. Something worth mentioning is that if you intend on going for the music sheet, then you need to locate the fourth vending machine, which unfortunately is not shown on this video. But I can tell you that it is up on a roof-ish. It's like a balcony between the roof and the ground floor. I hope that made sense. Now that you have all the three cans, just go to Azus and purchase the painting or the third memory. As for the fourth memory, go to the bar and go up a floor. You should find it there. The fifth memory is located inside of Momo's flat. It's a poster. Memory number six is the one we went past earlier. It's the graffiti on the wall. Do a 180 from here and let's start looking for the seventh memory. You'll find it to the left of the musician. You just need to do a little bit of parkour. Now the eighth memory is located on the same floor as Elliot. And this is the last memory of this chapter.
Chapter 5. Rooftops. This one only has three memories. The third memory is going to be part of the story, so... But it's still a memory, and we're still gonna count it as a memory. Get past these zerks, but do not do what I just did, because... Yeah, it's very risky. <laughs> get up. And you're gonna get past the second set of zerks. You should find the first memory of this area up ahead. You gotta jump up on the vent and then up again. And there it is. The second memory will be found shortly after you've gotten off of the crane. After you've dealt with the Zerks a few times, you should find the memory. Now, here we are. You don't have to open the gates or the fence thingies uh, of these zerks. Just go up ahead and uh, interact with the memory. Again, as for the third memory of this chapter, it happens on its own. It's part of the story. Chapter 6, The Slums Part 2, we are skipping because we already did everything on Part 1. Chapter 7, Dead End. This one also has three memories. The first one will be located on your left side, so do not go down the ramp first. Go left first, and then you can progress. For the second memory in this area, this is right after you've been yeeted from the shopping cart. Go straight ahead. Do not go to the left towards Doc's house just yet. Go straight ahead. You'll find memory number 13. The last memory of this chapter can be found at Doc's house. Chapter 8, The Sewers. After you've said bye to Momo, you'll come across this hallway. Turn left, you'll see a bunch of eggs. You can make a run for it and then like jump on the pipe, inside the pipe. And you'll find memory number 15. On your way back, you can wait and uh, the Zerks will blow themselves up. After the first Zerk chase, you will escape and land on a pipe. You do not go to the right side, you go to the left side. And over there you should find memory number 16, which is the last memory of this chapter. I forgot to mention that there are only two memories in this chapter. Chapter 9, Ant Village. This one only has two memories. One of them being part of the main story, which you cannot miss. It happens on its own. The last memory of this area, or memory number 18, can only be obtained after you've spoken to Balthazar. I'm using Ant Village Entrance as a reference. Chapter 10, Midtown. And this is memory number 19. It's part of the story. It happens as you enter the subway. Memory number 20. After you've reached the top of the escalator, turn to the right and you should find it. Memory number 21. We're going to use the entrance as a reference point for most of these. Turn to the right and go inside the alley. We're going to be doing a lot of parkour. After you've gotten memory number 21, we're gonna go for number 22. And that one is located inside of a barber. Just make a left turn twice. See the window is open, just jump in there, go up a floor and you'll find the memory. Memory number 23 can be found just across. It's inside a restaurant. Same thing there. Go up through the ceiling and you'll find it. Now the next one is a little bit tricky. 
Memory 24 can only be accessed after you've gotten through the Neko factory. I'm also using Midtown's entrance as a reference point to make it easier for you to locate it. Memory number 25. This is the last memory of this chapter. You can find it by the bar. There's a secret room. Chapter 11. This one only has one memory and you'll find it after you've trapped one of the sentinels inside one of those cells. Chapter 12. Control room. You get the last memory by just entering the control room. This one happens on its own. It's part of the story. I'm not going to show you the dialogue or what happens. All I will show you is what the bag looks like. And uh, yeah, I also want to take the time to thank you for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.